Hey guys, my name is Liz Feldman and I'm our Norfolk Campus Kids Director. I am standing in the Dolphin Room at 6401 Tidewater Drive, our new Norfolk Campus. This is the room where our older preschoolers will come together to have fun and uh, to hear engaging, exciting stories about how much God loves them. And I am so excited for when we will all be able to be here together again. The coronavirus, uh, this quarantine time, it has slowed down some of our construction a little bit, but we are still working hard to get this building uh, ready so that when it's safe, uh, we can come together and worship God again together. In the meantime, I just want to let you know that ministry is still happening at Grace and specifically at our Norfolk campus. Uh, you may have heard that as a staff, we are calling everybody, every adult in the church to maintain those connections. And in one of those phone calls, I was talking with a woman who uh, recently lost a family member and uh, she couldn't go to the funeral because of quarantine. It was a hard conversation, uh, but we had the opportunity to pray together. Uh, I prayed for her and she prayed for me and in the midst of this really challenging time, it was such a beautiful and connecting experience for both of us. So my challenge for all of us today uh, and encouragement is to reach out to somebody. Uh, maybe it's a fellow Grace attendee or a family member. Maybe it's a friend that you've lost contact with. Reach out to somebody. Those connections will sustain us through this hard, isolating quarantine time. And if you're looking for even more connections, just know that our website, gracebible.church, has tons of opportunities for getting connected right now. Uh, you can serve the local community while maintaining your own safety and security right now through uh, all of our local outreach programs. There are also uh, online Facebook groups for adults and families that you can join. You can join an online community group, or uh, like Eric talked about recently, you can join an in-person step study coming up. Uh, it's just so important for all of us to maintain those connections. In John chapter 17, verse 11, Jesus prays, Father, protect them, that they may be one, like you and I are one. So Jesus actually prays for our protection and he prays it in order that we would be one, that we would be as connected as God the Father is with Jesus the Son. So let's do our part, follow his lead, uh, the encouragement of Jesus and stay connected. Whether it's a phone call, a text message, Facebook message, email, reach out to somebody uh, and be a part of that movement led by Jesus to be one together. And I can't wait to see everybody in person when we're back here in our new building.